let's solve an example for simplex method this is the problem and this is the objective function in the problem and these two are the constraints since there is unrestricted in this problem we have to substitute two new variables for this variable so let it be x1 is equal to x3 minus x4 since we are substituting this we will change the above question as 4x3 minus 4x4 plus 5x2 and the constraints will be 2x3 minus 2x4 plus 3x2 is less than or equal to 8 and x3 minus x4 plus 4x2 is less than or equal to 10. Since this is maximization problem and the constraint is less than or equal to, to convert it into equal to we will add slack variable. So it will be 2x3 minus 2x4 plus 3x2 plus s1 is equal to 8 and x3 minus x4 plus 4x2 plus s2 is equal to 10. In the objective function, it will be as 4x1, 4x3 minus 4x4 plus 5x2 plus s1 plus s2. The coefficients for s1 and s2 will be 0 and 0 and the non-negative integers will be x3, x4, x2, s1, s2 will be greater than or equal to 0. And this will be the first iteration. The table will have basic variables and the variables x3, x4, x2, s1, s2 will have a solution and the ratio. In basic, we will include the slack variables and the coefficients will be 0 and 0. For these variables, the coefficients will be 4, minus 4, 5, 0 and 0. In this, the coefficients will be taken from the constraints. So, it will be 2, minus 2, 3, 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 4, 0, 1. The solution will be the right hand side of the problem, 8, 10. In zj, we have to multiply this variable, this value, this value. So, 0 into 2 plus 0 into 1 will give you 0. 0 into minus 2 plus 0 into minus 1 will be given 0. 0 into 3 plus 0 into minus 4 will be given as 0. And the, similarly, the all variables will be having 0. For cj minus zj, we have to minus this value and this value. So, 4 minus 0 will be 4. Minus 4 minus 0 will be minus 4. 5 minus 0 will be 5. 0 minus 0 will be 0. And 0 minus 0 will be 0. Here we have to take the greatest value. This is the greatest value in the table. And this will be the entering variable. Here we have to divide the ratio. So it will be 8 by 3 and 10 by 4. For this the value will be 2.6 and for this the value will be 2.5. So the smallest variable will be the leaving variable. So x2 is the entering variable and s2 is the leaving variable. This is the box for iteration 2. Here also we will be having the same values. So CBJ and we will have the same variables. Here since S2 is the leaving variable, we will change X, S2 into the entering variable as X2. So S1, here it will be X2. The coefficient of S1 is 0 and the coefficient of X2 is 5. The coefficients of X3, these are the same. To enter into these boxes, we have to take the um, intermediate values. 4 will be the intermediate value. So we have to divide this value by 4. So we will get the value as 1. Here it will be 1 by 4, here it will be minus 1 by 4, here 0 by 4 will be 0 and here it will be 1 by 4 and here it will be 10 by 4. To enter the values in these boxes, we have to do 2 minus 3 into this value that is 2 minus 3 into 1 by 4. 
here it will be 5 by 4 here it is minus 5 by 4 here 0 1 minus 3 by 4 and the solution will be 1 by 2 here for zj 0 into 5 by 4 plus 5 into 1 by 4 the value will be 5 by 4 Similarly here 0 into minus 5 by 4 plus 5 into minus 1 by 4 will be minus 5 by 4. For this it is 0 into 0 plus 5 into 1 is 5 and 0 into 1 plus 5 into 0 is 0. Here it is 0 into minus 3 by 4 plus 5 into 1 by 4 is 5 by 4. For here 0 into 1 by 2 plus 5 into 10 by 4 is 50 by 4. For Cj minus Zj, we have to take 4 minus 5 by 4 as the value will be 11 by 4. Minus 4, minus 4, minus of minus 5 by 4, which will be equal to minus 4 plus 5 by 4. We will get the value as minus 11 by 4. 5 minus 5 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 5 by 4 is minus 5 by 4. We will take the largest value. So this is the largest one. So that x3 will be the entering variable. To find the ratio, we will do 1 by 2 divided by 5 by 4. That is 1 by 2 into 4 by 5. We will get the value as 2 by 5. Similarly, here it will be 10. When we convert it into decimal, it will be 0 0.4 and this is the smallest value, so it will be the leaving variable. This is iteration 3. We will have the basic variable and same variables x3, x4, x2, s1, s2. We will have solution and ratio. Since S1 is leaving variable and X3 is entering variable, we will substitute S1 as X3. This will be same as X2. The coefficient of X2 is 5 and the coefficient of X3 is 4. The values here, it will be same. Since 5 by 4 is the intermediate value, we will be having 5 by 4 into 4 by 5 will get the value as 1. So here it will be 1, here it will be minus 1, 0, 4 by 5, minus 3 by 5 and the solution will be 2 by 5. To enter the values in these boxes, we have to multiply and minus that is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 into 1. So we will get the value. The value in this box will be minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 into minus 1. So the value will be 0. Similarly, we will be having 1 minus 1 by 5, 8 by 20 and the solution will be 12 by 5. In ZJ, we will have, we'll be having 4 into 1 plus 5 into 0. So it will be 4. 4 into minus 1 plus 5 into 0 will be minus 4. 4 into 0 plus 5 into 1 will be 5. 4 into 4 by 5 plus 5 into minus 1 by 5 will be 11 by 5. 4 into minus 3 by 5 plus 5 into 8 by 20 will be minus 2 by 5. 4 into 2 by 5 plus 5 into 12 by 5 will be 6. In CJ minus ZJ, 4 minus 4 will be 0. Minus 4 minus of minus 4 will be also 0. 5 minus 5 will be 0, 0 minus 11 by 5 will be minus 11 by 5, 0 minus 2 by 5 will be 2 by 5. The highest value is 2 by 5, so this will be entering variable. S2 is entering variable. The ratio will be 2 by 5 divided by minus 3 by 5, which will be into 5 by 3. So, minus 2 by 3 and 12 by 5 divided by 8 by 20 will be 6. This is the positive least integer. So, this will be the leaving variable. X2 is leaving variable in this problem. This is iteration 4. 
will be having the basic variables and the variables x3 x4 x2 s1 s2 solution and ratio we'll be having the basic variables as x3 since x2 is the uh, leaving variable s2 will be entry cj and cj minus zj the coefficient of s2 is 0 and the coefficient of x3 is 4 the coefficient of x3 is 4 x4 is minus 4 x2 is 5 s1 is 0 and s2 is 0 to fill into these boxes we have to do this is the intermediate variable so 8 by 20 into 20 by 8 will give us 1 so it will be 1 and these variables will be 0 0 20 by 8 minus 1 by 2 and here it will be 6 for x3 1 minus 3 by 5 into 0 so it will be 1 minus 1 minus 3 by 5 into 0 will be minus 1 similarly we will be having 3 by 2 1 by 2 0 and 4 for zj 4 into 1 plus 0 into 0 will give us 4 4 into minus 1 plus 0 into 0 will give us minus 4 4 into 3 by 2 plus 0 into 20 by 8 will give us 6 4 into 1 by 2 plus 0 into minus 1 by 2 will give us 2 4 into 0 plus 0 into 1 will give us 0 4 into 4 in plus 0 into 6 will be given as 16 for cj minus zj 4 minus 4 is 0 minus 4 minus into minus 4 will be also 0 5 minus 6 will be minus 1 0 minus 2 is minus 2 0 minus 0 is 0 now the solution is 16 since cj minus zj is all negative values and there is no positive value let us stop with this iteration so the value of zj is 16 and x3 is 4 and s2 is 6 the value of x1 is x3 minus x4 so x1 will give us 4 minus 0 which is x1 is equal to 4 so x1 is 4 and x2 is 0 this is the end of the sum